this like three times as an entrepreneur you learn and you grow i feel like it's so many people out here that want to bully you because they like your service they like it enough to go to your booking page they like it enough to go to your website and look at your products but when they don't like the price it's a complaint about what what you price your worth as and it pisses me off because it's people that i've wanted to go to before that i simply can't afford i love their products i love their service simply can't afford it i'm not gonna text them and question them about why they charge this and what what's the purpose behind that and it doesn't make sense i'm just gonna find somebody within my bracket also as a service provider or a product, if you sell products, it's really annoying when you take time out to create resources and to create a website and to make sure everything is fully functional and it works and people totally ignore it and want your energy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I understand customer service is really important. People don't want to, I don't like to call businesses and have to talk to a robot and things of that nature like it's very very annoying but when you think practically now we have so much more access like businesses used to be a little bit harder to access you can call them if they're in your area you can walk in and that was about it now we have social media it can be 30 people that find you within an hour do you think that you can answer every single person that is interested in your product like some things as a consumer you have to go and educate yourself on i don't know i just feel like there's so many lazy consumers out here that don't want to do the research they don't want to read the websites they don't want to use the resources that you spend money to provide like personally i do email marketing i have a website i have actual tutorials on my website i have um guys that walk you through what to expect during your service and things of that nature and people will totally like disregard it and call me and want me to answer every single question that they have and the most annoying part is those are the people that ask all of these questions they want to talk to you every day and they don't end up purchasing or booking and it's just like i kind of sometimes feel slept on it's like when you really do the work when you really out here showing up every day like and tired and you know investing in your products and putting money into your marketing and things of that nature like when you really doing the work and people still treat you like a scrub or like you owe them something because you offer a service like like i just feel slept on i feel like you know there's so many girls that be booked up for weeks so many girls that have clout so they sell out and i feel like being the one that 
is spending time and putting energy into my business and really trying to make sure that I do good business. And I flip in for God's sakes, like package my stuff and spray rose hydrosol so that I can send love with my packages. And it's just like, I don't feel like I get the respect that I deserve. And like I said, I'm not on here. Well, like I say all the time, I'm not on here playing victim, but I just want y'all to know the same way I get on here and I'm like, own your own business and work from home and do all of this stuff. It's drawbacks to it too. The same as if you work a nine to five. And however, I just be tired of being overlooked. Like I see people liking my post. I mean, looking at my post, but they don't like it. I see people coming to my my booking and my my website, but they don't book or purchase. You know, I see people sending my stuff back and forth to people. Um, I've had people come and sit in my chair and complain about people that charge two or three times more than me. Like, I know I'm worth it. It's just like I ultimately feel slept on. And I guess I'm saying this more to vent because it's like I still make what I need to make. But I set goals for myself and it just feels like with this environment, sometimes I get discouraged because I feel like I'm never going to meet those goals that I set. It's, it's things that I want to do. And there's a, a certain type of stability that I want to have. And I'm not one of these popular girls that want to be around everybody and fake the funk and fake, fake network with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to be myself. And I have too much talent and too much behind me i got a whole llc business management um degree i could be a whole sourcing agent out here like and i just feel like the clientele that i have is time to find like a new soul tribe of course i still have like day one people that don't mind they pay without a doubt and they book without a doubt but as far as whatever audience that i have i just i'm not feeling the vibes i don't feel like you know it's just a lot of watchers it's people that get up and watch me every day every story that i post but won't purchase it's people that every month inquire about services and oh okay i'm gonna book and i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that and want to talk to me every day and want me to get issue them energy and you know don't end up even purchasing and it's like i feel like i'm being called to do something different you know i feel like i'm being called to I don't feel like I have to kiss ass and hang out with people that I don't want to hang out with and hire brand ambassadors that I don't even believe in what they stand for. Like, I don't feel that. I feel like I'm being led to do something different and I'm not sure what that do something different is, but I'm being led to do something totally different to attract people to me that are for me. Because I feel like my audience with business is a lot of people that aren't for me. It's a lot of spectators. It's a lot of people that sit around and wait for a sale or a bargain. And, you know, and I think this is a natural business type of thing. Like, I originally started doing hair in school. So, my clientele, you know, I was traveling, doing sew-ins for $75. And so, a lot of those people are still with me. And now that I have a LLC and a business management degree and I'm tired of being a kitchen stylist and I definitely, I tried the sweet thing. I don't like that because it's still very boxed in. Like I'm ready for something bigger and I know exactly what I want to do, but I'm not led to speak on it yet. Um, and I have, I can do it, but it's just, I want to make sure before I make certain moves that I have the support and so it's just like kind of like this uncomfortable por portion of my um journey on where it's kind of breaking out of my comfort zone and taking risk and investing in certain things you know um to be in front of who i need to be in front of and to attract who i need to attract and um the reason why i'm telling you guys is because I, I get up here and I talk about entrepreneurship and how you don't have to work a nine to five and how much I love being home with my daughters and stuff. But with the amount of experience 
not just with service, um, because my goal is not to do hair the, for the rest of my life. My goal is not to be service based for the rest of my life. Um, I, I'll tell you guys my goals and things of that nature. Like when I'm led to, it's like opening my eyes and realizing that I am slept on. I'm not in front of the audience that I need to be. And it's not to sit here and vent and be like, oh, nobody likes me. Oh, nobody wants to pay my price. Oh, I only have this amount of people and I can have this amount of people. It's not about that. It's about knowing, okay, I'm outgrowing my audience. I'm outgrowing the audience that I've built. It's time to reevaluate and educate myself on um reaching a different type of clientele reaching a different type of um client base at first i would get like three or four bundles and have people pre-order but now i have like inventory like sitting in my house i never thought that i would have like inventory so it's like i'm growing and with that i'm outgrowing my current audience you know and i guess um anybody that is in this type of predicament it doesn't mean that it's something wrong with you because other people don't see your value it means that you're not in front of the right people because there's people that pay it's people that pay effortlessly but obviously i'm outgrowing where i am and it's motivating because i know that it's time to like push forward but it's scary because that means it's risk. And y'all know trial and error is expensive and it comes with ups and downs. And you know, having a new baby is scary to take, to be led to take all of these risks, but I'm gonna do it. And I'm not going to be sporadic with it, but it's just me feeling slept on, like this is what I need. Like I'm tired of showing up I have the website. I have all of my stuff set together. I take time and put money into myself. I spend money on different stuff. You know, I really do what I'm supposed to do. And I'm not seeing the results that I want to see. And so now it's time to break out of what I'm in and to do something different. And I just want to be transparent about that. I want to be transparent about knowing when it's time to um do something different a lot of times i feel like especially as a, a business you'll look at yourself and be like well what can i do differently like maybe you're not in front of the right audience maybe you're not um putting energy into the right people you know like i'm sick of people absorbing me of my energy and it's like i'm too good for that like i should not have to talk to you 85 days in a row to get you to book with me like i'm not kissing your ass to get you to purchase with me and if i feel like that then i'm in front of the wrong people because my products are bomb i know for a fact i know my services are bomb for a fact and um you know some people might be like well it's because you in the house i was just in a suite baby you know, and that was, I feel like that was even worse. Grown ass women having to be quiet because there's other people around. Like I want to be in my own space. I want to, like I said, I'm not going to talk about it until, until I'm led, but I don't want to be in a suite. I don't want to be in a shop. I don't want to be in the house. Like I want to do something totally different. And it's so scary because I'm going to do it. And I don't know where to start <laughs> or how to start. So it's like, as soon as you, um, beat one level it's like trying to get to the next like or you will stay stagnant and so i'm doing it and by the way if y'all didn't notice i do have a new phone like this is my old phone that y'all couldn't hear me on and that's the new phone so hopefully my quality is better um and i'll tell y'all more about the phone and everything but it's really annoying this is like the least happiest i've ever been getting a new phone just because now it's so much stuff to download apps and you gotta allow access to stuff and this two-step verification like all of that stuff is so annoying so maybe tomorrow when i'm in like a better mood or and after tonight i kind of play with the phone i'll be able to give y'all a like review and but y'all let me know like do you see a difference do you feel a difference do you hear a difference than my old quality or what but um yeah it was just a quick little vent about feeling slept on and you know um 
Like I said, I'm not folding and playing victim, but I do know something has to change. And being that I've changed the quality of my products, I've changed the quality of my customer service. I have um, the website and everything else. Like it's time to go a different way. Um, and I guess some examples, like if you're kind of feeling the same way in your business, um, getting somebody, you know, delegating some stuff, getting somebody else from the outside looking in to get me in front of an audience that I need to be in. Um, instead of doing my own Facebook ads or Instagram ads, because I don't really mess with those a lot, getting somebody to do that. Um, basically being a bit more strategic so that I can get in front of my soul tribe, people that are going to support and pay the price because I know I have clients that do. It's just most of my audience that I've built are a different type of audience and it's time to get away from that audience and kind of do something different so that I can get the results that I um, that I do need. So I hope this was like a cool little chat. It was um, kind of uncomfortable because I don't like to like talk about business as if I'm complaining. But feeling slept on is a real thing. Like when you know that you're bomb, like you know that you have good stuff to offer. You know that there's people that charge 10 times more than you and you know they got clout. So they pop it like it. it it's okay to know that you're bomb and you're not you're not getting what you your your true value you shouldn't have to always do a sale you know and it's almost like as a business you train people like to wait around I've, I've done that I've trained my audience to wait around for sales and to wait you know and see mm, she gonna drop the price I ain't gone you know what I'm saying and it's like about getting out of that into pushing myself and catapulting myself into another um, you know, into a new audience, into people that are going to pay what I, I charge, that are going to respect what I charge, because it's too many people that be like, damn, like, you cold and you don't even know it, and I am, and I am, and that's why I'm so happy that, like, this whole self-love journey, I'm not being as humble anymore, and not in a, like, braggy way but in a no like you really do have value i don't want to be 40 years old with carpal tunnel and back problems um and have helped everybody else look how they want to look and you know meet their beauty goals and get their you know all of that stuff and i'm still stuck and stagnant because i i gotta do discounts and i gotta do service uh you know i gotta do i gotta knock myself down to be accepted i'm not doing that anymore like at the end of the day, I know my value. I know my worth. I've been doing this for a while. Um, and I have something bomb to offer. And I'm going to get from in front of people that want to give me less. You know, I have a lot of... Um, I have a lot of potential. And I'm not going to keep myself stagnant anymore period. Like, um, and I'm saying that as humbly as I know how to. And some people won't understand because some people going to be like, bitch, you do hair out your house. Bitch, you do, 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 do. But no, all of that is temporary. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I know, um, how to be strategic with a child on the way in the middle of a pandemic. But like I said, I know what I need to do. Know what I need to do. So, um, I know most of what I need to do. It's a lot of uncertainty as well, but that's why you delegate and that's why um, you don't try to take everything on on your own. If you don't know, then you go seek help or you go educate your um you go educate yourself more. There's no excuses on staying stagnant. There's no excuses about feeling slept on. Like nobody's gonna make this shit happen but you. So I appreciate you guys for watching and I hope that anybody else is going through like kind of like a defeating moment in business or you just feel slept on or like the things that you're doing isn't catching on whether even if you have like a YouTube and you feel like you're investing the time and you're you know you pay for a new this and you have been spending money on fall drinks and doing vlogs and spending all your time doing it and it's not taking off like 
don't be stagnant and sit there like figure out what you need to delegate do you need somebody to do the seo for your videos do you need somebody to um do a video i mean a channel audit how can you get in front of the audience that you need to get in in front of because we all have that soul tribe you know if you're an entrepreneur and you're really gifted at what you do your soul tribe is there it's just about getting in front of them so don't get stuck or stagnant and stay where you're at and feel sorry for yourself or don't compromise the worth of your expertise or your talent because you feel like you have to no delegate figure out how to get in front of people that will pay your price points or if you need to upgrade your products or whatever sometimes you have to seek help from the outside we don't know everything um and it is okay to humble yourself and figure out what the fuck you need to do to get where you're trying to go so that is all that i needed to say for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and I love y'all for real, of course. <laughs>